Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we're going to go over resistors in parallel. So let's get started. Now, when we connect resistors in parallel, the relationship that we see for the total resistance is not as easy as the relationship we saw for resistors in series. So what we see instead is that the total resistance is given by an inverse relationship. So what we mean by an inverse relationship is this one over factor. So one over RT is equal to one over R1 plus one over R2 plus dot, dot, dot. So remember the dot, dot, dot is there to show you that you would go up to the value of however many resistances you had. So if you had three resistors in parallel, you would go up to one over R3. If you had five, you would go up to one over R5 and so on. It also says here that arranging resistors in parallel gives the lowest possible resistance, i.e. the greatest current. So the more and more resistors that you add in parallel, that's going to decrease the total resistance, which in turn will increase the total current. Because remember, current and resistance have an inverse relationship. They're basically opposites. I'll just show you a quick example of resistors in parallel. Let's say I have three individual resistors and I want to know what the resistance value of each one is. Then I would use an ohmmeter to do this. So connecting the ohmmeter to resistor R1 first of all, let's say that had a value of 10 ohms. Let's say R2 has a value of 20 ohms and R3 has a value of 20 ohms as well. If I take all of my resistors now and I connect them in parallel with each other, then if I was to measure the total resistance of all three in parallel, then you'll notice the total resistance is 5 ohms. So the total resistance here is found using the relationship 1 over RT equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3, where we stop at 1 over R3 because we've got three resistors in there. Lastly, a quick top tip is that the total resistance of resistors in parallel will always be smaller than the smallest resistance value. So here our smallest resistance value was R1, which was 10 ohms. And notice how our total resistance of those in parallel is 5 ohms. So this is actually true for any parallel circuit where you have resistors or resistance values, where the total resistance is smaller than the smallest resistance value. That's all for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.